Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we are taking again the Phoenix A320 Iberia Airlines um, Airways, whatever. Uh, I don't know what they call themselves. Service from uh, Milan over to uh, Madrid in Spain. It is about a uh, two hour uh, flight. It's got about two hours and 25 minutes of block time scheduled for us, so about two hours of air time. Um, our flight plan says one hour and 48 minutes, I believe. Let me just check. One hour, 36 minutes. So, um, semi short. It's uh, a little bit longer than short, I would say. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's, let's get started, shall we? Oh, did the power up? Master switches are off, most likely normal. Weather radar is off. Gears down, wipers are off. Batteries are at least 25 and a half. Natural lighting is off, so we can turn that on. That can go on. Start lining up as we. Yep, thank you, fire test. I'll go ahead and start the APU for the COVID reasons, so we need some air conditioning and we're just going to say that they don't have any preconditioned air here in Milan. Not sure if they do, but to say they don't, small airport, we're going to use the APU and we are allowed to use the APU. Well, that's, well, while that's happening, we'll go ahead and initialize eight cars. Perfect, and we'll get some weather as well. Okay, preliminary performance termination. I already got my chart set up on my iPad, so uh, we're not gonna get that out. If okay, flaps one. Under seven, one forty six, one forty six, flex fifty six. That's all good to go. Uh, that looks good. We'll set our altimeter, 1022 on all three, checked. Oxygen is checked, hydraulic quantities are checked, and the engine oil quantities are checked. That's fine. Flaps are up, and our lever agrees. Weather is retracted, and um, that is good. So we'll continue with the overhead scan. Blue supply coming on, ground control on, do a CVR test. One, two, three. Battery check. All right, that's checked. Emergency shutdown, really? Okay. We'll deal with that in a second. We'll sh make that once again. Do a low pressure, it said. Which likes to happen in real life a lot, too. We'll just let it shut down. Um. Clear the message, and we're gonna uh, start it up in a moment again. Let's continue with the flows. 
It actually happened to me, fun fact, the APU shut down actually happened to me in real life before too. Um, I, as a passenger when I uh, boarded, I heard the shut, uh, hear, heard the APU shut down. <clears throat> and uh, in fact, 10 minutes later, when we were, uh, we were all sitting in the airplane, the captain came out and uh, made an announcement saying that the APU has just failed on them, that they're getting maintenance to take a look at it. Um, and the problem would have been because, again, because of COVID, APU needs to be operative. The only time APU does, is not required is um, if you're flying to the base airport. So for example, we would be flying to the base, so if the APU was still to fail after our restart, um, it wouldn't be a big problem. We should still be able to fly, um, but uh, without, an, without an operative APU. But um, But uh, because we were flying away from our base, so we were flying away from Frankfurt, um, we wouldn't have been allowed to fly without an APU running. Um, but, unfor but fortunately, they did get it to work, so we didn't have to change airplanes or anything like that. But yeah, it's, um, APU shutdowns are very frequent, apparently, in, the, uh, in uh, real life, so. Okay, so APU is available, go ahead and apply the bleed, we'll see if it shut down later on. Um, it is possible that a, uh, the APU pump, fuel pump, could be defective and therefore not supplying us with a lot of fuel. So we would, might have to turn on the fuel pumps or anything like that, but um, so far it's running again, so it should be fine. We will also start with boarding now. Let's continue with the uh, FMGC. We are Iberia Triple Two Alpha. Last time it's initially zero. Flight level three seven zero. Temperature was twenty nine, which uh, is minus minus thirty six. RS in it. Our alternate fuel, according to our flight plan. I'm sure you guys are interested in seeing that now. It is 1.4. Virtual runway 36. Fix Juliet. Insert. The arrival will be the Eyeless 3 to right. Aduxo 1 Delta arrival. Insert that. Plug in our alternate full light plan. And 3 to left. No SID. Insert and arrival into ILS Niner. No star. Probably no via. Agax. Insert. Base of an engine out. Radnav, see if we need anything specific. Um, but it is an RNAV, so no, there's nothing I see that we need. Wind data request performance flaps one. That's what we're expecting. Transition altitude is 6,000. 1850 is checked. Plugging 1850. We'll always round up a little bit. Okay, progress, cruise level, 370, often 35, recommended to max, 361. We might have to do initially 350. Oh, 36, plug that in, go secondary flight plan, copy. Our return is Iran, the ILS, Hulu, 36. And then enter in our performance data for the return, so we don't have to do that later on. We said 1850, 1850, 1850. There we go. Went in a B page. 
our initial altitude for today's SID bid is uh, probably going to be 6,000. We'll go ahead and plug in 6,000. Okay, we've got um, the rest is all checked here. We don't have any VORs here, so that's fine. Filling is completed, so sequel time to come on. And we're going to keep everything else as is. Yep, and now we're just waiting for boarding to complete. Alright, so we just got our load sheet, our final load sheet. So we're going to go ahead and open it, accept it, and we're going to update our information. Zero fuel weight stays the same. Our zero fuel weight scenario gravity 31.7 gives us a tail weight of 66.5. It's four, it says here, so that's fine. Calculate. Goes down 0 0.2. Oops. All right. I just checked and entered. We're now six minutes before departure, or five minutes before departure. So power can come off now that the APU is running. Um, we shall disconnect it as well. We have a four star checklist above the line. Flight deck, sorry, logbook and security check. Check and enter departure briefing is completed. Cocker preparation is completed. Cam signs are on auto and unarmed. Use our nav mode. We check the distances 0.1, so no greater than three miles, which is checked. Uh, fuel is released with 8.4 tons, just as we require, and should be balanced, which it is. ARF 1022 and all three is set. And sometimes even all four depends. Um, parking brake is on, checked. We're going to switch on the beacon. We're about three minutes before departure. Throw service idle mid. Post selector, normal parking brake set. Accurate pressure is in the green. That is checked. And uh, yeah, we are ready to go. Go and connect the tug. So below the line, takeoff data is set, beacon is on, old wheel steering is engaged, message is checked. Windows, doors, and slides are closed and armed, cockpit door closed and locked. The four star checklist is completed. Pressure is checked, FedEx are powered, engine number two. Here we go, engine number one, set the parking brake. And disconnect the tug. Excellent. Control check, pull up, down, neutral, left, all right, neutral, butter full left, all right, and neutral. Light control check complete. After start checklist, anti ice is off, pitch room is set 29.5%. Down 0 0.9, uh, 2, sorry, 0 0.2, bird trim is 0, you can set this check. We are ready to go. Break break release. Isolate on. Get out of here. for departure.
Build line, comes in with given TCAS, TARA, Cambridge Lecture, Thermal, and Pax Raw. Of course, our forte is after this. Right there for takeoff, any lights come on. With the timer, let's get out of here.
then you get down to three green. You can have all that in a little. Really fair to land. One thousand. Five hundred. Hundred above. Minimum. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, retard, five.
we get the flaps at one plus f because once uh, you know, say air temperature is 31 degrees Celsius or higher, you should always keep the flaps uh, down at one position um, due to the uh, due to some possible erroneous overheating detection, which may not be the case, um, but just in case. So keep that uh, as is. That's good. We'll do the parking checklist. So. Parking brakes and chocks on and in, engines are off, beacon off, seatbelt signs off, emergency ice lights are off, yellow electric pump is off, and the hook ones are off. Oh. Welcome to Madrid. That is indeed the end of the flight. I hope you guys enjoyed the landing rate. In case you guys are wondering, it's minus 83. Pretty smooth. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you all in the next video. Until then, peace.